Marin, I think because I come not only with skills but also with knowledge because I spent years working in the trenches. I spent years working with people who are suffering terribly um, because of neglect and neglect of the property where they live, neglect of the homes in which they live. And so I come with that knowledge and I come with a knowledge com um, coupled with compassion because I want to make a difference. I'm not just talking political rhetorics. I don't believe in rhetorics. I believe that it is time for us to work and that is why I think I am the better candidate. Okay, but your competitors will say as well that they come with a lot of whatever background that they have. But what you don't come with is the monetary backing, quote unquote, that this city needs? I have heard that said over and over, and I don't really share that view okay. because I have studied other societies. Um, for example, I went on a trip to Brazil, and when I saw what could be done with people power, it had very little to do with the monetary. It starts with people, and that is my plan. We begin with people, and if you put people at the forefront and that movement is um, viable, people buy into your vision and they start cooperating and they contribute in kind. You don't have to just get contribution in money. There are miles and miles of Belize City streets. It's going to take millions of dollars that not even the private sector has because of the whole climate of the economics, mm -hmm. the global recession, and the list goes on. Right. How do you propose to fix Belize City streets? We come right back to people. Because you look at the street that is being um, repaired right now between Scotiabank and BTL office, and that is an ideal example of what can be accomplished if we have a plan in place and we have someone who can mobilize people. If you notice that project is being funded by local businesses and also that it is providing jobs so it's answering on both levels answering the social problems that keeps staring us in the face that our young people are saying where are the jobs so we are providing um through that project jobs are being provided and at the same time if you listen to the interviews that some of you did with the guys who are working on the street the level of self-esteem that came just from that project is saying to me that if i can tap into that self-esteem i can get other streets repaired i don't think i can do it i know i can do it because over the years that i have done different things in my career i have been um acquiring the skills of different types, um, not just knowledge, but skills that I've been putting to use. And those are the skills that are needed in City Hall. It's not so much about who has the most degrees or the most accolades, it's about who has the kind of skill that is necessary to put the strategies and the systems in place that will make City Hall work.